very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so I just really wanted to mention that we had really a very good beginning of this week and as you can see all of our forex signals which we have sent to the premium group have reached the big profit levels especially the pound CAD and the pound USD have reached the, have reached the take profit number two each one of them making 60 pips of profit and they are going even in more so actually it was really a good start and I just wanted to share the news with you that's why today actually I'm going to make this video with uh, spending a day with extreme trader forex signals I'm going to show you the right way to use the signals and how we can actually trade them and what we can do if in case the signal has went in loss this video is going to be published no matter what uh, the results are if the signals were bad or good I'm going to show you how we can fix it how what we can do exactly if the day was not running so well also I just wanted to mention that today we have to be extra careful as today at 10 p.m. Dubai time which is 6 p.m. GMT time there will be the FOMC statement in use for the United States dollar for the US dollar sorry uh, this is gonna be in my opinion a very important news because it's gonna decide uh, the new interest rates for the US dollar for, for the federal banks in the United States actually I think this is gonna save the dollar for a little bit because the dollar is really getting so much weaker right now and we will actually keep that in our mind when we are posting the signals today so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there all right so as I said my friends this is gonna be a day with the signals therefore we have to wait now Angela until she sent the signals I'm gonna just uh, I'm just gonna wait for her to send the first signal and then I'm gonna start the recording of the video so for now let's just pause and wait for the first signal so here we go Angela has just sent the signal <coughs> to sell the AUD USD right now and I think uh, she's somehow right because the AUD USD is showing a strong bearish momentum right now of course I need to change the lot size um, for $775 account I'm gonna select it um, 0 0.20 that's enough because we're about to enter five to uh, four to five trades so let's just sell the AUD USD as per her signal and let's uh, again check the signal so it says take profit one at 20 pips so let's just set the take profit to number one to be exactly at 20 pips I think it's right here no uh, okay that's enough 19.5 all right okay so it's okay 20 pips oh yeah it's exactly 20 pips right now and the stop loss is on 45 pips let's just set, make it right now okay 45.5 pips now um, very big question being asked here <coughs> is the risk to reward ratio because uh, some people actually asking me why do you have uh, 20 pips of profit against 45 pips of loss as I mentioned the answer is very simple we are very rarely to let any signal hit a stop loss as you as you have seen before my friends let me just show you in the past we are usually closing the signals uh, like that for example we close Euro GPB, Euro pound with 14 pips of loss and pound USD with 12 pips of loss so what we are doing actually is we are keeping our eyes on the signal just to be sure that the trade is going well and if we have noticed any price action indicating that the signal is gonna go against our prediction we are just sending the notification to close the trade right now or right away uh, with a small amount of pips so <clears throat> in this in this case actually uh, the losses are uh, less than the profits meaning the profits are higher so we can actually make really some good profits using the signals so now that being said I will I will show you what we can do exactly when the when the signal is gonna re reach uh, the take profit number one I'm gonna show you exactly what we are what we are going to do and after that I'm gonna uh, um, either keep the trade running or open a new trade so until then let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen uh, on the next uh, signal all right and a new signal for buying the pound CAD has just been sent so let's go to the pound CAD and actually 
let me tell you something my friends here I want to show example now for example here uh, Angela has just sent the signal to buy the uh, pound CAD right now but me as a trader I also want to have a perfect entry and I just want to see the price reversing a little bit yes look at that the candle is reversing a little bit uh, actually it is a good signal because we are having right here a, a bullish pin bar so we can start actually buying the pair right now and I have placed my buy order let me just uh, draw uh, delete the blue line here I think Angela has sent oh my god yes there is another what's happening here pound cad oh I think I did not see the signal for buying the pound cad before uh, selling the AUD USD uh, that's an honest mistake personally I didn't uh, notice it so I think let's just check here um, how did I fold this mistake <laughs> it's happening anyway uh, pound cat should be buy at the level 1.7203 and let's see um, 7.203 it's almost there so the signal right now is actually is on um, yeah almost four pips of profit I have uh, entered late uh, it's, an, it's an honest mistake I have fallen to it I don't know how but anyway actually um, uh, Angela's entry is way much better than mine so anyway let's uh, check again the signal and it should be take profit uh, one with 30 pips of profit now as you can see this is the 30 pips but I have to be strict uh, to the signal therefore since I have uh, entered the signal almost like three pips uh, before the actual entry I'm gonna uh, reduce the entry point uh, the take profit level with almost uh, three pips as well so like that we're gonna have 30 pips uh, actually no it should be more sorry um, okay now here's the point it should be actually more than that I have made a mistake again but the thing is I want to stick actually I want to stick to Angela's uh, take profit level so from Angela's take profit uh, entry to the take profit level is gonna be exactly right here at the top of the resistance therefore let me just uh, again as I said stick to it so like that we are gonna have a better entry so right now we have the AUD USD which is now going well actually and the pound CAD which is gonna eventually reverse in my opinion because the signal is good uh, the trend is going up as you can see and we have here the pin bar now the point I wanted to mention here is you are a trader in the end if you don't like the signal or if you don't feel comfortable about your entry point it's okay to wait a little bit more time before you enter the signal um, we don't want to build a robots traders we don't want you to be just copying blindly and just um, not thinking actually about the signals so the signal here uh, for the pound cat uh, for example it was for the buy however you also have to have you you have to use your own analysis as well just to be sure if this signal is really at the best entry level or not the thing is we really cannot wait for the candle to fall more down to have a better good entry we really cannot do that we as a signal providers we're just gonna tell you that this this pair is really good now for the buy or good for the sell and we are giving uh, the current uh, entry uh, level uh, or the current price level as an entry point however you also have to use your own uh, analysis just to have a perfect entry anyway uh, things are going well so far uh, we have only two signal active so let me now pause the recording again and I'll be back to you to show you when we have the next signal all right so another signal for buying the pound NZD has just been sent let's go to the pound NZD and let me show you example here um, for example the signal has been sent at the absolute top level or, or the highest level of the resistance now it's an optional thing for you my friends if you want to enter this signal or not you don't really have to uh, follow the signals blindly you can just be you can just look for, for example you can check the smaller time frames just to see how the candles are reacting to this level so are you convenient are, are you satisfied with your, with your entry right here I know the signal has been sent to, to buy the pound NZD from here but however we just have to be careful about our entries as well what I'm going to do right now I'm going to reduce the lot size make it 0 0.15 
and look at that now I can see that the candle is reacting to the level of the resistance and it's going down it has went down for three pips so far right now we are having here a previous resistance so I think buying from this level is actually a good idea that is what I'm telling you you can also be you have the freedom to follow the signals the way you want and how you actually want to enter them uh, please don't uh, just blindly follow any signal so going back to the signal um, the take profit one is on 30 pips and the stop loss on 50 so let's do it go back to the one hour chart so we can see it uh, actually go to the four, four hour chart so we can see it uh, clearly and uh, take profit level one will be on 30 pips let's do that I think it's right here 28 29.8 that's the same and the stop loss is gonna be on 50 pips let's just do that exactly right here so we're having right now three signals running uh, pound uh, CAD is running right now in <clears throat> 8 pips for me and for the members should be 10 pips of profit um, the U AUD USD is still ranging there I think it's a good signal because the AUD USD right now is retesting the broken support level on 0 0.71296 I don't think the AUD USD is going to be able to break out from, the from, from that level uh, the retest seems like it's going to work out and the signal is going to be profitable and of course the pound the NZD which, which we have just opened right now so yeah we have right now the, these three signals let's just wait and see the next signal Angela is gonna send and I'll be back to you my friends so let's now pause the recording and again I'll be back to you and the last signal has just been sent for selling the AUD CHF so let's do it right now AUD CHF is right there and okay yes actually that's a really good signal and yes I think it's gonna be good for sell right now not right now and I'm going to increase the lot size to 0 0.20 and yes the sell has been placed check the signal it says take profit one on 30 pips stop loss on 50 so let's do that uh, st uh, take profit level one on 30 pips exactly right here 30 pips right yeah and the stop loss on 50 let's go back to the four hour chart and stop loss on 50 pips exactly right here now might someone might tell me what what are you gonna do when the signal is actually gonna reach the take profit one actually I'm gonna delete the take profit white uh, 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 take profit number one and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm about to do I did that before actually in other videos but however this video is dedicated for those who have not uh, seen the previous videos about the day with the signals so that being said right now we are having these four signals running and right now we are running in total of ten dollars of loss um, from this account I will allow um, I will allow maximum of hundred dollars of loss uh, no more and also we can see about the profits when they are coming so until then we are, we are having now these four signals running let me now pause the recording my friends and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these signals alrighty so let me just tell you what's happening right now we can see that the pound CAD is almost right there on the take profit number one and it's very close to the take profit level and actually what I did I have deleted the take profit level as you can see I deleted it and there is a reason for that because what I'm going to do right now do you see the stop loss right here this one the stop loss what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag the very same stop loss and just place it right here uh, just a little bit below the take profit number one like uh, maybe two or three pips only and then I'm gonna uh, secure a profit I want to show you that but um, let me show you actually I'm waiting for it to rise a little bit more before doing that so look at that the stop loss is just now being moved above my buy level just like that now let's let's uh, check it out you can see that the stop loss the stop loss not the take profit it's now a stop loss with sixteen dollars of profit and eleven pips of profit so as I said that is a stop loss look at the left my friends here you see the SL stop loss so it is like I'm, gonna, I'm now secure I have secured my profit so if the signal or if the market has reversed a little bit more uh, it's gonna hit my stop loss and the stop loss is actually gonna be in a profit that is in my opinion the best way to trade with the signals because you don't know how the market now is gonna react to this level 
and you have a take profit number one and there is more a take profit number two so how to reach take profit number two if you set a st uh, if you set the take profit right here on that level your signal your or your trade is actually over and you have missed the opportunity to enter take profit number two so the best uh, practice the best practice in my opinion is gonna be set a stop loss right here just a little bit below the take profit number one and just hope for the market to continue the rise all the way to take profit number two now that is actually one of the ways of trading the signals some other what some other members what they do is they just actually keep the stop loss as it is and they don't do anything um this is actually um i don't really like this way because it's somehow uh, risky uh, because you are now if you are if you don't if you are not experienced trader of you if you don't know what you are doing now actually what you are doing right now is uh, pure gambling you are just uh, betting that the price is going to continue the rise to take profit number two and three without actual science without actual knowledge of how the market is going to react to this level that's why actually if you are a beginner i highly advise you to use the method i just show you which is uh, rising the stop loss right like that so as you can see the market is right now reversing uh, for seven pips after hitting the take profit number one and i actually i'm just gonna wait actually i need to check it um uh wait a second is it really did it really reach take profit number one or barely touched it i mean this is the actual entry sent to the group and oh yeah 28 pips only it did not yet yet uh, touch the take profit number one so we just have to wait some more time for uh, for for the candle to rise uh, for a little more pips before we announce the take profit number one is going to be hidden for the pound cat so until then let me again my friends pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly and indeed my friends pound in <coughs> pound cad has actually reached uh, the take profit number one as you can see 30 pips of profit now I, i'm gonna do exactly what i told you right now the stop loss i'm gonna actually increase it and look at that like that so if this signal is gonna go against me i'm gonna close it with uh, 22 pips of profit i think we can even rise it a little bit more uh should be maybe 24 should be fine 23 pips only okay that's good so that is my stop loss now the new tech profit level as you can see i can now drag it from the original uh, entry level and i'm gonna make it 50 pips if i want to like that so uh, as you can see now the trade is in the middle between a stop loss and a tech profit and we can see that that the stop loss is gonna give me 35 dollars while the tech profit uh, two is gonna give me $73 of profit. That's in my opinion, the best way to use the signals. That is exactly what I actually advise everyone to use when they are trading with our signals. So that's one of the signals and let's just wait uh, for the rest and we'll be, I'll be back to you. So let me know my friends, please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what we're gonna do with the next signals. So here is an example of what's happening actually when the signal is not going well. Uh, we are sending the notifications to the member to close the trade right now uh, with mini with uh, minimized loss for example AUD USD Angela has just sent the signal to close it with only 28 pips of loss not 50 pips of loss that's what I'm talking about that we are doing our best to uh, be careful about your funds and actually I agree with her since we can see that we had uh, on a four hour chart uh, this candle here has closed as a pin bar and right now there is a chance that the market is going to continue the rise and indeed uh, this price action indicating a bullish uh, momentum therefore we have to close the signal exactly as mentioned by Angela so we still doing good actually um, the pound cad has actually hit the stop loss with uh, $35 of profit and we closed the uh, AUD USD with $53 of loss that means we are now in $20 of loss and that is actually normal. We still have right now uh, three, uh, sorry, two trades running. Uh, Pound and ZD currently running in uh, 11 pips of profit. It was going in almost 
24 pips of profit but then it's reversed which is normal eventually i think after the break out from the resistance right here on 1.93505 it's actually gonna fall down maybe to create a new support level and then it's gonna rise to hit the take profit level and uh, not to mention of course this is just take profit number one we still have take profit two and three we can actually make a decent profit out of these take profit levels uh aud chf is right it was going actually in total of almost 11 pips of profit right now it's reversing retesting the broken support level on um 0 0.65663 and i believe right now the pair is going to continue the bearish momentum and eventually it's going to continue the fall to hit our take profit level actually uh the the take profit for the aud chf is oh yeah it's 30 pips and this one is 30 pips, uh, pips as well so uh, everything is going uh, okay so far and we just need to wait and see what will gonna happen let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the remaining of the signals so resuming the signals and unfortunately i missed the recording the moment when the pound nzd has actually hit the tech profit level not only that i just didn't really want to keep the take profit level right here i just wanted to delete it and draw a blue line as well just like what i did with the pound cad but unfortunately uh i was busy doing some th something else and i missed uh, removing the take profit level however so the trade of the pound and the d have given us approximately 27 pips of profit and actually i think the signal has already hit the uh, take profit one I think it has not yet been announced in the group anyway uh, the signals are really in uh, good profit today and looking now at the AUD CHF right now the AUD CHF is going in total of 16 pips of profit actually I think I might uh, stop the recording right now because to be honest with you um, it has been a long time and personally I have other things to do and I need also to prepare for the midweek analysis video therefore I will just have to um, uh, stop the recording right now and accept the profit $34 should be fine and by that the account has gained today about about $43 if I'm not mistaken or $45 which is really fair for this small account and by using uh, extreme trader forex signals so I just wanted to show you my friend's example of how to use our signals that you don't really have to strict using it as exactly as we are showing in the uh, signals itself. Uh, you have the complete freedom to enter in the perfect time you think it is right. You have the freedom to close it in any profit that you accept. And of course you have the complete freedom to close it also in the loss that you can accept uh, compared to your funds uh, amount. So in the end uh, it was really in my opinion a good session only the, for the AUD USD the signal has uh, failed uh, and for that we also apologize to the members who have uh, failed that signal however we hope they have also entertained some good profits uh, from the other three signals and by the way guys all of these profits have been made and the account has been grown only accepting take profit number one keep that in mind I only took take profit number not only that I took take profit number one only from one signal the other signals the pound cad the pound cad I took less than the take profit level I took only 24 pips and for the AUD CHF I have taken uh, 16 pips of profit so uh, and the AUD USD we have closed it uh, sorry AUD USD yes AUD USD we closed it with 26 of uh, uh, 26 pips of loss even though what happened regardless that I have taken only one take profit one and the other signals even less than take profit number one with one loss of 26 pips still the account is a total of uh, I think about $40 of profit so that is a good example of how to use our signals and I really hope you I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and have learned about how to use them. So in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.